What a comeback from the Demons. They're on the ropes, but they never hit the canvas. 28 points in arrears. Now, just four. They punch forward again. So Milksham, remarkably, can put the Demons in front. Seven of the last ten goals to the Demons. Five of seven in this term. And Melcham's delivered. He's handled the moment. And the Demons are in front. To a reasonable manner. We know that Hannon can fly. He tried to leap with a run. Pedersen. And Melcham adds another. As the Demons continue to rack up the goals in this third quarter. They love to get it moving. Oliver, he's got to go short because the West Coast got numbers back. Well, good lead provided by Melksham. He pierced his way through and the kick was perfect. Yeah, that was better. That's more the play Melbourne need tonight. So Jake Melksham coming back from a year outside of the game. And they get the quick reply and the seventh lead change of the game. Melbourne are back in front. Uh, Jake Melkson kicks an important goal. To his left, high ball, centre wing, Petrarca, really solid hands overhead. He wheels and goes back inside. Low ball here, opportunity for Melcham. Melcham can keep going. He needs to straighten on the left. Didn't think he could get back there, so he went with the left. And that is a match-lifting goal. When you have that ability as well as the uh, ground ball ability that that man has, Petrarca, and then to play on, make your decision when you're on the move, game just opens up and that's a brilliant finish by Melchon. Spin through the Fisher tackle Petrucker likewise, ball ricochets and Hannon's away for the D's Hannon took a bounce on the wing, now goes for the one on one, Jeff Garland gets down low, got to beat a couple here Jeff hasn't got a lot of support at the moment, they arrive now, Hogan gets back on his feet gives it to Melchon, Melchon with a low ball, got it, Melbourne back in front, Melbourne in front by two points this was his half back line. It was almost no, this was the goal. A third of few kicks back, a kick that was smothered, that had bounced into a Melbourne player's hands, then they were off. There is a good defender, Talia. And he's going with McDonald here. Big fly, and that's a terrific mark oh, taken man. by Hunt, who plays on quickly. Saw his speed chasing. He can get off the mark quickly as well, and Melksham just drifts free. And marks 40 metres out almost directly in front. Inside 57-5 in favour of the Demons. So they're in front in that department. And now they trail by just a point. Melchin with the opening goal for the Ds. Hannon to Neil Bull and the running torpedo. Might be OK. This is a good foot race. Brown and Jeffy Garland. Can Jeffy get the ball to hand? Brown played it well. Kelly dispossessed by Melchin. Can he bend it around? The Ds get their third of the corner. And Jake Melksham, his second goal of the night. And a bad miss down the other end from McGovern. Melbourne make them pay. And back to a 25-point margin. Yeah, it was a great run from Melksham. Garland had the one out, but he, he really pushed hard to get over and support Jeff. He picked it up, and gee, that was a good finish. He didn't have long to size up the goals, and around the corner like that, it was a beautiful kick. Here's the one-on-one -on -one here with Jeff Garlett. But the great thing about this was Melksham's run to get down and support. Help out in the finish there. That was a really clean finish around the corner. Here's Three Greenwood. Goals. For Brad Crouch. Oliver did well to get involved. Beautiful pick up. Wagner found a way through. Melksham's got a couple. Can he slide this one through for his third? Which way does it bounce? Melksham's kicked three. And a quick reply for the Demons. Margin back to 25 points again. And Jack Melksham, an unlikely three-goal scorer in the first half here. And they are a bit unconventional tonight, Melbourne. They're going to have to find different avenues to goal. And maybe it's his night tonight, Jack Melksham. Well, he's been playing well, Jake Melksham. Liked his game last week. A couple of goals now. That was a great pickup in traffic there from Wagner. And he knew exactly what he was doing there. Low and hard. Ball skid, skids on. He's got the goal kicking range himself. McDonald tries to round this up. Under siege. Made do. Got it to Melsham. And he's kicked the goal anyway. D's get a vital one. 
to stymie Ports would be charge here. And the margin has crept back out to 37 points. To give an easy shot at goal, but he ran back into traffic. A clever finish by Malcolm. He's become a really important component of the Melbourne outfit over the He's last He's had a nice couple weeks. of kicks today, uh, David. He's had some important involvements, but you're right. The clean hands would have been uh, the first give, but uh, Port Adelaide weren't good enough to bury him. Three goals last week, Jack Melksham. Kicks an important one for the Demons. Gorn. Tyson. Let's see how he jumps. Oh, he stayed standing. McDonald could have gone to the right, went to the left, puts Melksham on a path to goal. And he runs in another one for the Ds. He runs it, Hibbert. Thumps it for the 33rd time. He has a possession and Melksham marks it. Hogan sneaks back to goal, but Melksham quite rightly decides to use up all the seconds. Well, there wasn't that much sophistication about the kick from Hibbert, but it got the job done, and uh, it's just part of his work today, which is certainly one of the best few on the ground. It's been a very unsophisticated last quarter, Jared. Bomb it forward. Kill some clock. Come on, hands out. Oh, he's gone for it. He's gone for it. He's got it! Jake Melsham might just have sealed the deal for the Ds. And a stellar afternoon that the Melbourne fans are in raptures about at the home of footy. Well, you mentioned he's learning his trade uh, in this side in the forward line, developing as an important weapon in the forward half. And he's kicked a couple of goals today. He was uh, important a couple of weeks ago and a very important win. And he's taken a strong mark and gone back and delivered a hell of a goal. First place you break down is across half forward. If you allow defenders to drop off and use better spaces and cut off and become intercept players, then you, you struggle. If you can find half forwards that can command their position, mark the ball every now and then, hit yep. the scoreboard. Stay dangerous. Get to that 20 disposals per game. They're, they're very important commodities. Mm. And in the end, he gave up the ground and the ball to Hogan, who chips for McDonald. Far from perfect. Durden went once and threw it. Scooped it up. Well, you saw Hogan go really short there because there was actually nothing wrong. So he had to make a decision change mid-kick. And uh, he didn't hit the target, but he got away with it. Tom McDonald. Yeah, he's worn one. He has worn one. Hopefully, he's, in some ways, just a poke in the eye. It looked like his cheekbone already had a bit of swelling around it. Yeah, it is. It's a knock to the cheekbone. Gives it a fair thump. Oh, what a long blast that was from Melton. Melbourne have answered with a couple of important goals at the start of the second. It's about now when fatigue starts to set in, and North Melbourne have just got to keep up the defensive pressure. Melton. All goals will come. Oh, ball could do anything in the air, and that one's come back for a brilliant goal. Not sure if it was completely by design, but it all counts. No, I think you're being a bit harsh. He knew exactly where the goals were, and he found it uh, from this stoppage. And this is their first stoppage goal. Melbourne, obviously, there's a bit of an element of luck, but that is an instinctive shot at goal, and uh, it is exactly what Melbourne needed. It's Hibbert. Go again, McDonald. There's Melcher. one. Great reflexes. But it's one of the few clearances we've seen where there's been some space. He's kicked it to a two-on-one. Pretty uh, lucky not to give away a free kick there, uh, Tom McDonald on Himmelberg. Did well to find a, an opening there to get the ball to boot too, didn't he, Jack? Just getting going. Oliver for Lewis. Here they come again. Full forward. McDonald. Oh, he did everything but take the mark. Himmelberg cornered. Interesting how he got rid of it. Watts, they just keep it in, and finally Melson's kicked another. They're starting to surge. In towards the middle, Nathan Jones has runners out wide. One of them is Lewis, spears a pass in towards half forward. It's got to be okay. Mark is taken by Melson. Long, in towards full oh. forward. Did Robin get a touch? I don't think he did. He didn't. And there's your reply. Towards half forward. Pedersen picks it up. A tie Pedersen. But he gets it away towards Wagner. Wagner goes short once again. Take and the D's looking to finish it. 
The kick from Milksham is long. I reckon he's got it. He has. And if you needed a sealer, that's it. And it's come from Jake Milsham, who's finishing the afternoon with two in the second half. Saw him kick a very similar goal in the third term where he marked it just outside 50. He virtually played on. He kicks those long, low balls. Gets a lot of penetration on the kick. Thought he had the opportunity to go back, take his 30 seconds and just really wind the, the clock right down. But he saw Garlic breaking towards goal. And it's the old, yeah, I'll try and pass it to you, but oh, if yeah. I'm good enough, it'll go straight over your head. Very poorly disguised <laughs> pass. <laughs> That's a nice dart shot. And it's been a, a fantastic game. Simon Goodwin, he knows it was a shot. <laughs> Batif from the front, down the front goes Gorm with the tap. Petrarca. Melksham slammed it on the boot. And what a result from that. Quick reflexes. Well, What's the match with Petrarca? Yeah. He's a very, very talented kid, as we all know. But he's under pressure. He uses every second of his time allotted. And uh, just flicks it out to Melchon, who kicks an instinctive goal. Yeah, he's very courageous. Did the same last week when Dan McStay hit him. Harms, Garland. They need something from Jeffy. Over the top to Melchon. Had to wait an uncomfortable moment or two. But he gets it together when he has to. And lands one for the Ds from Jones. Instead, he bombs for Melchon at centre half forward. Players everywhere. Lewis <laughs> saw his way through. Garland didn't go to goal. Instead, back to Melchon, who's a powerful kick. A straight one. Oh, well, the worm has turned. They've kicked the last three. Melchon with a capital. And the margin is suddenly only 23. Jordan Lucas, isn't he? He's there in the middle of the ground. <laughs> Hannon's kick. It's got to be good. And it is. Melchon takes the mark. Back to back goals and a chance to cut it to 13 points. Brownie, I love the move of Melksham to full forward. It's just a mismatch that Collingwood. They really don't have that second small defender to go to full back. 20 goals for the season. Two this afternoon. They were back to back in the third quarter. From 47 metres. Listen to the roar. The D's are back in it. Melksham has three. Been terrific there. Like Keane just said, it's been a good move. Melksham's gone forward. And look, because of Jesse Hagen's injury, they've had to change the complexion of the Melbourne forward line. I've liked Simon Goodwin and the Melbourne coaching staff's work. They've thrown the magnets around. Tom McDonald went forward. Jack Watts has pushed up a bit through the midfield. Max Gorn has been forward as well. But unlikely for Melksham to go forward and be the spearhead, really. Normally a tagger doing a fantastic job. Nathan Buckley clearly frustrated. Heat back on Nathan Buckley.